Hello, good afternoon. So far this March has been quite a lot wetter than average. If we take a look at the rain that's already fallen, there are a number of parts of the country that are getting on for one and a half times the March average rainfall. Of course, we're nowhere near the end of the month. And looking at the weather picture this week, there's going to be lots more rain on the cards. Notice the heaviest rain is going to be across western areas. That's where the largest totals will be. And so I think by the end of the month, there'll be some places that push on to see over double the March rainfall average. Today, I think make the most of the bright weather whilst it lasts because there's a tendency for the weather to turn cloudier through the afternoon. And now it's been the drier day of the weekend, I think. Let's see how this week is looking with Elizabeth. Hello, good evening. It was drier and cooler than yesterday. There was some sunshine around at times, but always plenty of cloud too. It's going to be quite unsettled as we head into next week. Hello, a very good evening to you. Hopefully you've seen a little bit of sunshine today. This week our weather will be unsettled. Low pressure dominates, so expect spells of rain over the next few days, with winds increasing in strength as we go through the week. Temperature-wise, around average for the time of year, but by next weekend it will be turning a little bit colder. Hello, we've a mild and damp evening and night on the way and Monday is also going to bring a lot of cloud across the UK with outbreaks of rain. Through the course of Wednesday, that big low pressure still dominating the weather across the Atlantic. It really is like a washing machine of clouds and showers circulating multiple areas of low pressure. So a very breezy day as well and gale force winds are possible around some western coasts. So here's an overview of the week ahead. You can see most days have rain icons, but at least it's relatively on the mild side. Bye bye.